That's the velocity. That's the velocity. And it's flowing at one meter per second. And it's two meters deep. Is everybody done? No? Anybody not done? some sort of yes we're done yeah okay <laughs> all right so I got um, 20,100 because a thousand times two times nine point eight is nineteen thousand six hundred and a thousand times one time divided by two is five hundred so that's twenty thousand Cool. Anybody not get that? Anybody having trouble figuring it out? What are you using for units of energy again? Joules. Yeah. Okay. These are all in joules. We keep life, we keep life simple. Kilograms, meters, seconds, joules, newtons, pascals. Yes. So if they don't give us the pressure, you're gonna submit zero? Hmm? If they don't give us the Well, pressure. see the pressure yeah. is at the top of the screen yeah. is zero. Pressure at the bottom of the screen is, equi is, is equivalent to that, but that is zero. Okay. So, in any place in that stream, the pressure plus the potential energy add up to the same number, which is a kind of cool thing. Yes? Um, uh, density is a thousand. Uh, velocity is one, so one squared is one. So I have a thousand divided by two. So then for for A, you actually just do the full calculation. For the part A. Part for the right. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it, you you all you would have to do. Is, is take it would, is realize that's the same number. Okay. You calculate it for zero, and then you don't have to worry about trying to calculate the pressure of, put the mass of 15 meters of water, and how much pressure that is, well, it's equal to. I think that's what I was trying to figure out in my head. 100 <laughs> minus 15. <laughs> that's the trick question. All right, everybody got to figure out how that works? Does anybody have any trouble with this? Um, the, notice the key thing is where is most of the energy in this stream carried? Is it carried as potential energy? Basically pressure on the bottom and potential on the top, or is it carried as kinetic energy with velocity? Potential energy. It's almost all potential energy, about 95% in this example, about 95% of the flow is potential energy. And that's true of most streams. 
unless a stream is very thin and flowing very fast, most of the energy is carried as potential energy. First thing, cool thing you guys probably didn't know before is, is rivers are like big dams. And the, if, you, if you, during a flood, make the water deeper, you're adding a lot of energy to the flood. And it makes the river do a lot more stuff. So let's do it this way now. Let's do one more example just for kicks and grins to make sure you guys got it. Let's have a river moving fast, moving four meters a second. And oh dear, this river is only 0 0.5 meters deep. What is the energy in this flow, in this stream, or in a, I should say, in a cubic meter of the stream. example where most of the energy is carried in velocity. But we had to have it four meters a second is, let me see, <laughs> faster than that. <laughs> That's four meters a second. You guys can try to, one meter a second, 1,001, 1,002, 1,000. That's a pretty stately stream. Four meters a second, it's testing. Um, and half a meter deep. So that'd be like a mountain stream crashing down through the rocks. Uh, whereas the other one would be the slow, muddy river. Yeah. Um, so any, any questions on the Bernoulli equation before we go on? I will ask you to calculate um, this, and I will have uh, examples two or three sets of example problems that you can work before the test. So you'll know how to do it. So you can test yourselves and make sure you know it. Um, okay, so we can calculate how much energy is in the Bernoulli equation, and we can see that there are cases where that's uh, the dominant energy in the flow is velocity, in cases where the dominant energy is depth. 